with you. Welcome to the series on performance measurement. What is labor productivity? It could mean the number of units produced per employee in a manufacturing business, or it could mean the proportion of billable hours in an engineering firm. Labor is a significant component of cost in many businesses, so it would be useful to monitor its effectiveness. To make labor productivity a useful performance indicator, there are four steps. First, determine the functional area which you want to assess labor productivity. For instance, the call center in an insurance business. Second, identify the work activity that you want to monitor. For the call center, a key activity is to reach out to the existing policy holders and renew their policies. Third, identify the output of the work. In this case, output is policy renewal. And fourth, determine what input you're going to use to compute productivity. For example, you could use the actual time spent for those calls as input. By dividing the number of policy renewals by the time agent spent, you get number of renewals per hour of agent time. Alternatively, you could use the number of calls made as the input unit. By dividing the number of policy renewals by the number of calls made, you get the close rate of the renewal calls. Note that the first calculation uses the actual time spent as the input unit, and the second calculation uses the number of calls made. Both are acceptable productivity measures. To compute labor productivity, use the actual work time if your systems can make that data available. Otherwise, look for other input units that are meaningful when you compare it with the output unit. Thank you for watching. I'm Connie Seal.